So I'm just going to do a, a video here on a, on this AVEO, but really it's how to evaluate risk and reward. Joe C asks uh, asks a good question, and he said, "Is there a trade on AVEO if it breaks the 170?" And so this this morning I put out a, a, a an alert on um, AVEO, and I said, uh, "Pops through 140, trade to 170, stop 135." And so there was a reason I said that. Uh, this was the 140, where, which was natural resistance for it in here, and it popped through that. So then it, but the next resistance comes in right around this area here at 170. And that's why I picked that number, because this is, this is now resistance for it here. But, uh, and so, but you can also see that this is, this does have a lot of, um, you know, interestingly enough, the declining tops line and the 140 lateral resistance is right there when it broke through both those. That was the pop. But it gets to 170. You can see between 170 and this level here, uh, 190, a lot of resistance. So let's let's look at the uh, let's look at the risk reward of these. Now, this is where it broke out of the gap at 110. And so we maybe had a uh, a dollar or a ten cent um, stop on it, you know, maybe down to one oh nine. But we had a target of one forty, so a ten you got a forty cent, sorry, a thirty cent gain for a ten cent loss, so three to one ratio. So that's reasonable on on this stock, and so that that was a good that's good risk reward. Uh, you put in a ten cent stop. And with a goal of making a dollar forty and a dollar seventy, so seven to one, uh, six to one, and three to one. Then when it gets to one forty, it pops, and so now we're looking at a ten cent stop, maybe you know ten five ten cents. Well, I had five cent stop for a thirty cents gain, so that's a six to one ratio. Uh, six to one reward risk reward. So that's that's reasonable as well. So that's why we took that trade. But now over 170 to 190, it's only a 20 cent move in an area of heavy resistance. And so it can it can it make it through the up maybe it could. Yeah, there's no doubt. But what's your stop? I mean, your stop is, you know, 160, maybe 165. So if it's 160, it's only a 2 to 1. That's not really a risk that I want to necessarily take. I mean, if I was scalping it, uh, and don't forget, you know, this is already up 60 cents. It's up 54%, but more than that, it's up 70% from this dollar 10 move, right? Um, so those are all things that you have to take in consideration when you're looking at the risk reward. How much further can this go? Well, this runs into heavy resistance at 190, maybe 193, and uh and it's going to so you know the short sellers are going to be wanting to be all over this before two and they may get excited and stop it before that so i don't really see good risk reward this has already had a big move these are all things you have to take in consideration uh from 110 to 170 that's a 60 you know 60 cent move 55 percent ish and um uh, and you know, for to make another twenty cents, it's it's just not there. So always make sure you calculate that, and when you're taking these, always remember how far these have already gone, how much money these people have already made, um, and even in here now, these people probably are out at a dollar. But when it broke a dollar, those people are still all in the trade, and so when it gets up to the next resistance, they're going to be looking to sell. That'll put a lot of pressure on the market, as well as the uh, shorts coming into it. And all these people in here that had bought this stock prior to the collapse, they're still in it. They still own this stock, these people. These people don't own it anymore. They're long gone. These people, they're still in it. So they're happy to get out, if even if it gets close to where they want to, want to trade it. So that's, uh, that's just a quick little pitch on 
risk-reward.